There's a lot going on in this nation. Popular word now is cancel, cancel culture. When things get canceled, there are many ramifications. And I want to share with you some thoughts to challenge you not to let you be canceled. When people work hard on a project, think of a big project, a large project, maybe creating a new aircraft for the military or a new space probe to reach the heavenlies, to explore. Sometimes it's to explore and sometimes it's for war. But these are two very noble and large projects. You can think of many other projects too. Men and women put a lot of their heart, and their soul, efforts, their energies into these projects. From the inception to the design, to the development, to the prototypes. It's not just a business project, something that an angel investor decides to send his cash toward. But rather these are vessels that will help a nation in its war and even that will help all the nations to explore. Many times these projects in the past that went ahead and then got cancelled, the loss of those projects caused something bigger to be lost than just the project, time and the investment. Just the hearts of the people whose dreams were vaporized by one leader's or governmental or monarch's signature. No. Over. Done. Finished. Those projects could have meant huge developments in the advancement of mankind. The best developments in the advancement of mankind have come out of a heart that said, I have to do this thing. It's in my blood veins. It's in my mind. And many of the greatest inventions that took huge strides for mankind came when an individual's heart rang out loudly and said, I must find the answer to this problem. And there are problems that plague all of mankind. Darkness was a problem. Without light, it's difficult to work at night. One of the examples, when the light bulb was invented, it was a huge stride. It took mankind from really being unable to work and make good use of the night. Of course, they had lanterns and torches. Anyone could light a candle. But it's not the same as if you have light that pervades. The development of the light bulb opened up the use of one of man's greatest tools, and that is his time. Now he could use his time in a greater way, not to mention all the other developments that came because of the light bulb. Many of these developments have come in recent decades because of the advancement of the vision of the American. The one living in America had a freedom and had the ability to dream, to create something out of nothing. All of this to say that when something is cancelled, and many, many things have been cancelled along the way in history, one has to look at evaluate and measure how much was lost when this was cancelled. What great invention that could have been never came into fruition because somebody said we have to pull the plug. Many cutting-edge vehicles, their plugs were pulled. My son, you remember when you were in the fifth grade, you would study the flight and development, the beauty of the X-15. It was the highest and fastest rocket ship that had ever been made. You remember the X-2, the X-15, but there were 70 different models of the experimental planes. This advancement brought America into space, what enabled America to place men on the face of the moon. And the offshoot of the technologies that came during the space age have been huge benefits to mankind. 
the list would be hundreds of pages of advancements that came to mankind because of what was discovered and developed in the midst of the space race to put men on the moon. So these are the advancements, the offshoots of what come. In this case, an entire nation puts its shoulder to the plow and makes a concerted effort. 400,000 employees, contributors, contractors in this race to the moon. It was a big advancement, something that helped mankind. As Neil Armstrong said, that's one small step for a man. And when you think about it, all of these 400,000 people had their heart and soul into the project. It was something that was way bigger than how they fed their family with every paycheck. But they put their heart and their soul, the greatest minds, the ladies who put the mathematics into place that enabled those men to go to the moon and come back safe. These women were an integral part of this race to space. And there are thousands of others. The benefits and the offshoots of what were done continue to bless every nation to this day. And so have all the advancements that came along the way, of which America has been a big part. Spain, Germany, the United Kingdom, Great Britain, Israel, all along the way there have been huge advancements that came because someone did say, I have a dream. Christopher Columbus had a dream, and it was a very risky endeavor. Marco Polo is another one. Discoverers, voyageurs risk their own lives and the lives of the men that came along on their ships. History is a very important record of this. When you cancel history, you cancel the reality of what brought you to this place. You cancel the realities of what lessons were learned. In America right now, there is a huge movement to cancel. Cancel voices that should be heard. Cancel voices that have learned the lessons. And this is because there is a diabolical enemy at work in America. Canceling must not be allowed. You have to fight for history because it has already been largely removed from the schools and replaced with a doctrine in fact, it's an indoctrination of an entire nation, of an entire generation that's gone to school in these last 40 years. Do you see the enemy at work? Yes, you do, those of you who understand the times and the seasons, but the ordinary child out there doesn't understand. He only knows what he is fed. And this is part of the diabolical scheme of Satan to destroy this nation from within. My son, cancel culture is an abomination. They will cancel the Torah the moment you give them the power to do so. They will cancel the Word of God, and even now are doing so, by locking out the Word of God from social media. This is against our rules, they say. And all she did was state a scripture from God's word. This is hate, they say. Well, God hates a lot of things. And when you cancel God, surely you will bring retribution upon yourselves. The word of God is clear. I will bless those who obey the Torah. I will pour rain upon your crops. I will allow minds to soar and develop great inventions to bless the nations. The promised land indeed is America and is still to this day to millions of those who live far away who dream one day of escaping this nation of tyranny so that I can live free and follow the American dream. The American dream is the dream of Yah for every man. And America is an instrument of Yahweh to enable and bring forth the dreams that will bless the nations. This nation has blessed the nations more than any nation in modern times. 
And Israel has brought forth the laws of God and has been a blessing to the nations throughout history. And even more so in these latter 70 years since coming back to the land. For the land is the land of the covenant, the land promised to Abraham. This land and its people with their minds that are sharp because of God's hand. Yes, they kicked them out of Germany, the Jews, who happened to be the greatest inventors, the greatest engineers, the greatest physicists, the greatest mathematicians, the greatest scientists. And it was the undoing of Germany to do so. But America opened her doors to bring in the Jews. And today there are more Jews in America than any other nation except Israel. Cancel culture is an evil thing unless you're canceling out abominations and sin. But man is a freed agent. He can choose what he wishes to. But he will reap the rewards thereof and he will reap the penalties thereof. When something is canceled, the hopes and dreams of those people are canceled. One example, and it's timely. When you walked in Walmart past Aunt Jemima, she's gone. Because someone said, we're going to cancel Aunt Jemima. Her time is over. And the cancellation of that really affects a lot more than one realizes. Really at the core of what has made America great. The ability to invent, to become something big. To employ hundreds of people, even thousands and tens of thousands, that came out of one person's dream so many great things that have come from America and it's being cancelled because of the eyes and thoughts and demands of those who don't even understand that it's better to have 10,000 employed because of the dream of one woman they would rather cancel all those jobs because they don't like that woman when you cancel a program not only do you lose what could have been and that's happened in America many times. It happened throughout Germany, a great nation that literally canceled itself, allowing Hitler to run with his vision. When something is invented, created, discovered, you must make the best use of it. My son, I draw your attention to come Holy Spirit. This has blessed so many thousands of people, but it can bless more. It's not only showing the heart of true worship, the heart of prayer when one prays, come Holy Spirit, but it is really opening a corridor to God. You're asking God to breathe upon you. Come Ruach HaKodesh. Come Holy Breath of God. That's where divine inspiration comes. When people connect with the divine, it enables them to have a vision line into something that at this moment is not. And this is what faith does. Faith calls into being something that is not. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it is the evidence of things that are not yet seen. And every one of these inventions and great developments and discoveries have come because someone saw something that was not yet seen. And they said, I want to bring that thing into being. I want to develop this light bulb. I want to create AC. I want to create the telephone. I want to go into space. I want to discover a land that has not yet been open to the world. I want to find the way to get from point A to B with an easier way, a less expensive way. And if need be, I'll go around the Cape. Yes, I'll build a canal and cut through these thousands of treacherous miles with our ships to bring from the east to the west, to bring from Europe to India, to bring from Europe to Asia. My children, it's been a vision in the heart. And when you ask God to help you, he'll eagerly open the door because he wants to bless you. He wants to open the doors. He wants to make a way in the wilderness when there seems to be no way. He'll give you water in the desert. He'll open the heavens when the land is dry. 
He'll bring forth manna from heaven to feed an entire nation on their journey to the promised land. I am Yahweh. I can do what I say. And I have already said, dream, but put first Yah into your hand, into your heart, and into your mind. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Put first the kingdom of God and his righteousness into your mind and your heart. And all these other things will come to you. What father would give his son a rock when his son asks for the Holy Spirit? My delight is to give to you the Holy Spirit when you ask for great things. Because the Holy Spirit is the breath of God, the source of inspiration. The boldness that comes to take a journey that everyone says cannot be done. But when I speak to your heart, you have the faith and confidence to step out and do what God has said. And to do what God has encouraged you, empowered you, and enabled you to do. Cancel culture is the exact opposite. It will rob dreams. It's not anything other than extinguishing. And when you have a candle, it lights the whole room. But when you extinguish it, it's gone into darkness. And that's what they're trying to do, because they are instruments of Satan. My son, you have a lot of things that you've done, and that's an understatement. You have a lot of places you've been, places you've brought the light, places you've brought worship. Because that's the call I've given you, to bring worship to the nations. Now, to bring worship to the nations means you have to pull it. When you bring something, you're pulling it or carrying it, driving it, and you have done that. But when you take it, you can take it, you can send it by electronic streams, you can send it through the internet. And therefore I say to my children, go ye therefore into all the nations. So you have to go. But you can also send, because I call you to send worship to the nations. I call you to send my gospel to the nations. Mobilize whatever it takes to take the word of God, the gospel, and in your case, my son, to take worship to the nations. And this you have done, and you have been used by me to bring forth songs of spiritual purity into nations. Your albums are supernatural. They are not made by the hand of man. They are made by the hand of God. And they bring my spirit. They are tools that I can carry my anointing into the lives of millions. And that which you've done already, don't put it aside. Don't say it's over. It happened 25 years ago. No, my son. This is more alive today than it's ever been because of the ability for it to be heard and seen. And I emphasize seen, because when people see the worship and how it came forth, it will add a new dimension to something that in their mind's eye they've already received. But to see it actually take place, when people have heard of something that happened, it's one thing. But when they see it with their own eyes, it's an entirely new thing. And I want people to see with their own eyes. My daughter, you've made lyric videos, and it helps people to see the words of the song in a new light. The Lord is my shepherd, and there's a sheep. That helps them to imagine better. When people make paintings of Yeshua, it has brought them an ability to imagine the man Yeshua, and he's been imagined in many different ways as different artists have portrayed Yeshua through their various means of sculpture and artistry, paintings and tapestries. They have painted these. It's been a vision in their heart. I want Jesus to be seen, and therefore they've given their entire life to fulfilling their dream, that people could see the Yeshua of the Gospels in a new way. And today there are many that are creating movies I want to bring forth the Jesus that I see for others to see, that they might be able to understand who he is, the I am, who is the one self-existent, eternal, the word of God, the Logos. Before Abraham was, I am, and in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. How do you paint God? How do you show a picture of God? 
Well, I've painted a picture of God on every sunset, in every sunrise, on every ocean, on every beach, and in every mountain grandeur vision that you've seen. That's me. I am an artist extraordinary, and I paint it on my tapestries. The heavens are my canvas. The stars are my canvas, and I paint a vision of God. But man can do so too, whether it's through photography, capturing that image, or painting that image, or sewing and weaving through tapestry that image, or chipping away at a block of marble and creating that image, like Michelangelo and the great artists of the Renaissance. I want to use man to create pictures of God. Not that they worship the picture. No, but that they worship God. That they would see a fresh vision of who I am. And so, my son, you're an artist. You're a musician. And all the music that has come forth throughout generations of those who have been in love with me, I use them as instruments to bring forth a fresh vision of God. And it's through the power of the breath of God, breathing through their hands, their minds to create lines of music for the orchestra to play or to create recordings and tracks that will speak of me. So my son, this is your gift of artistry to bring forth music that speaks of me. And the music that I've given you is extraordinary. It is breathed by God. This is one of your badges of honor. A person in the military wears stripes. Those stripes are given to him and they signify something very significant. My son, these are your stripes. These are your authentications. And it's not been given by man, though some have been. But this is the testimony of God, the advancement and blessing of his hand upon your music. Because your music speaks the heart of God. Your music speaks the hunger of man. Lord, I'm hungry for your presence. Your songs, my son, are exactly that. They are prayers and petitions. They are the prophetic promises of God that I will bless mankind and I will bless the nation. And therefore, I send you with this important calling right now because America needs to see an element of God that they in many places do not see. That's the anointing. That's true worship, the word of God that comes forth with power, the prayers of God's people, the promises of Yahweh himself to an entire nation and a people. So market what you have. It's very important. What you have is already flowing. And I speak of come Holy Spirit. It is flowing. Thousands of people a day are watching and many in America but more so if you'll get it out there for people to share, to see and hear. The anointing of God is upon every song because I'm hungry to show them and reveal to them who I am in many different manifestations. But it will also draw them deep and they will go on the entire journey of this video and they will see the heart of a people that want God, who are pure and simple in their desire to simply come to the altar and worship and give themselves black and white together, Indian and Caribbean. My son, this video is a picture of what I want my church to be and what I want the people to be. And in this day, you're not going to see this very often. Really, it's captured. It was what it was and it was what is real. And therefore, my son, please put this out. It's the 25th anniversary of this recording just as it was the 25th anniversary of The Lord is My Tower. And it's going to soon be the 25th anniversary of other albums that you've made. Prepare the way, because it is silver. There's a silver lining in this silver anniversary of each of these albums, because I used them to bring worship to the nation of the Philippines and India, and more beyond that. I use it today to continue to bring forth pure songs of my name, Worship in spirit and truth, pure flow of the breath of God, the Ruach HaKodesh, from God to his people. Now, it's just really practical. You have to go one day at a time, one step at a time. And I've given to you a vision to bring this album for America forth. And it does take individual steps. 
Every song is a portion of this album, and you have put a lot of effort into every one of these songs. Not only when you heard it from the Word of God, you had to read it, you had to hear it, then you had to write it, you had to compose it, then you had to record it, overdub it, to mix it, master it, and produce it, and to present it. My son, you've done all of this. This is the big work. This is the hard work. This is what takes you hours and hours of effort. And you've already done most of it. Now it must be put into the package and be placed out there. And this will be a song for America. But my son, more than this, this is going to be a song, an album for nations to see. And so therefore be diligent and continue step by step to put forth this album. You don't have to worry for it to be perfect. You've already put a lot of effort into most of those songs to make them as good as they can be. And then you release them. And the fact that you've done the effort for Guard Over Our President, you've put that effort in to make that song zing. Now with the finishing touch, use that. That'll be the calling card for this album. That'll be the song that people will, more than any, want to hear. And when they hear Guard Over America, guard over our president. It will ring and they'll send it forth as never before has it been. The other songs are prayers and promises from God. Prayers to God and promises from God. God gives the promise and then you pray in response to that promise. You pray what your heart desires and God hears that prayer and then he gives the answer. So these are manifestations in both directions, from man to God and from God to man. This is part of what real worship is. So bring it forth, my son. And when people are curious to see who is this man that brings forth such songs for a nation, then they're going to hear the Lord is my tower, songs that bring healing, victory, and deliverance. Jehovah God reigns. They're going to hear hallowed be thy name. They're going to see, jump for Jesus, and they're going to realize, my son, that you are called by God to take worship to the nations, and they will say, I want more of what this brother brings. And they'll be brought into the Holy of Holies when they listen to those albums that you have brought forth as my instrument. My daughter, you're doing a great job. Continue to put it out there. You're sprinkling seed. Don't be discouraged if only a few people see it. Realize that when seed goes in the ground, nobody sees it. Don't be discouraged by only 200 views or 500 views. You're planting the seed. And when it comes forth, people are going to see. And you're going to feed families, my daughter. You're going to feed nations. You're going to feed them with the Word of God and with inspiration. Because when you put the lyrics with those songs for them to see, you enable them to sing a heavenly karaoke. And when you do, my daughter, their heart is going to rise to meet me. I said, commune with me between the wings of the cherubim. I'll meet with you. And that's exactly what you do, my daughter, when you bring them into the Holy of Holies to meet with me. Enable them, inspire them, be a catalyst to help them. They will surely be blessed because of your hand and the seed that you sow into this land. I will anoint you and make you more able to do what you've ever been previously able to do. I'm going to open tools for you. I'm going to enable you to create things that in your mind you don't even yet see. You're going to see them. They're going to come forth. But dream. You have to dream. Because that's what the essence of faith is. The essence of faith is I put within you something that is not. And I use you with confidence in your spirit because of the Ruach HaKodesh and the Word of God at work, receiving it as Rema. You're saying, I believe it. And therefore, you manifest it. That's how you bring forth that which is not into being. And I'll do this more for you, my daughter, in the days to come. My daughter, I'm providing for you. In this period of time, when you're not out and about taking worship to the nations, bringing worship to the nations in your own personal being, 
Now you're sending worship to the nations. And I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to give you everything that you need so that you don't have to worry. It's no fun being in a place of need, having your back up against the wall when the enemy is at your door. But I'm going to help you and enable you so that the two of you can do this mission for me. And when you do, you're going to see more and more income, fame, awareness of your name. You're going to have opportunities. People will want you on their live stream to sing, to share. They're going to make you a guest on their programs. The more that your name goes out, pastors will call and they'll say, please, I need you to come and lead my people into that dimension of Holy Spirit worship. I'm tired. I do not want what we've had so far. I don't want it anymore. It's not changing lives. It's not opening heaven's doors. But this kind of worship that you lead, Steve, is what we need for our church to see the face of God and for God to breathe the Ruach HaKodesh upon his people. Don't shrink back, Stephen. I put you in front of millions of people overnight. I wanted to use you to the best of your ability and means. And you could only go so far. But where you end, I begin, says Yahweh. And that's really what I've done throughout your entire life. This word of promise is to encourage you, my children. So do not allow anything that is of value to be canceled. As I've said many times, Look at the entire list of songs that you have, and there's a lot more than 50 of them. 50 is just the ones that you've already put up on YouTube, but there are so many more that have not yet gone forth. Songs that I gave you of great anointing that you didn't yet either start editing or finish editing, and you did not post. These songs have to be considered important as well. My son, you're prolific. You are one that is going to bring life. And therefore, you are a prolific songwriter. And therefore, there's going to be a prolific amount of songs that are going to be accrued to you. And they're going to be available for people to hear through Apple Music, Amazon Music, iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, all the avenues of distribution. It's time, my children. Do not hold back come forth because I want to release the water of heaven through you. It's a dam that's being held back. Why build dams? Many reasons, but every one of them can apply to you. It can be a dam to hold back danger. It can be a dam to create a reservoir of supply. It can be a dam to create hydroelectric power to power a nation. But all of this, my children, is what's being prepared. There is a dam and it is a reservoir in heaven of mighty songs and anointing of Yah that I want to release, to cultivate, to harness like electricity to be made. I want to release it to bring life-giving streams, not like the dams that break because that brings destruction but rather dams that release their water in controlled release. Dams are reservoirs to bring water to agricultural areas. Will I release these waters of God through you to water crops that have need and to bring forth harvest from seed that has already been planted by faithful farmers, faithful musicians, faithful artists that have not yet had their work seen? There's so many that you're going to be an example to, my son. Hundreds of thousands of other musicians, when they see what you are because of what I have done in you, they're going to say, so be it unto me, Lord. If you did it to that atheist, Steve, you can do it for me. And my son, help them. Speak, encourage them, because you are an authority of worship in a very real sense, a person of influence. These are the promises of Yahweh. Do not cancel or allow to be canceled the songs that came forth already, the videos that came forth. Do not allow them to be shuttered. No, allow them to be opened and released. And I will send forth my purpose to the nation, says Yahweh. Carry forth now. Finish this release of Come Holy Spirit. 
This is one manifestation of it. There will be others that will come in their season and time. But this one, it is the time. Bring it forth. And it's going to be released mightily upon the hearts and lives of many people, my son. Then bring forth step by step, because that's how it's done. Guard over America. Bring this album to America. The time is now. And don't let anything hinder you. It's got to be sealed, signed on the dotted line within the next few days. Don't let anything else get in the way. It's the time and I will send it forth to this nation. And those who need to hear it will hear it. Those who need to sing it will sing it. Those who need to see the lyrics, make the lyrics available for these songs so people can see and sing along. It will be prayers of the promises of God to America, says the Lord your God. Yahweh Seveot, the Lord of hosts, the Lord over America.